All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Ocular Shop. We came all the way to Henderson to see Zerzura. What's going on, guys? Hey, how you doing? Good. Yo. Thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, give me a little bit of your time. First, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are and what you play. Um, so, yeah, I'm Andre. I'm kind of like the front man of the band slash I write all the music. So, and, uh, yeah, we play like psych rock and shit. What's good? I'm Liam. Do I look at this camera? Ah, okay. I'm Liam. I play keys. And got the double synth going on. Uh, I'm Benji. Play drums. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first thing I want to know: How did this band come together? Where does the name Zerzura come from? Okay, Zerzura is an interesting, interesting spot. It's a, uh, it's a Arabic folklore. So basically, there's a city, um, that was. It was it was in Egypt, and they tried to find it back in the 1800s or something, and it was called Zerzura. It's called Al Zerzura. It's it's from Arabic folklore, basically. And I found that through like I listened to a lot of like West African music, so they made this movie um, called Zerzura, and I thought that was a pretty cool name. So yeah, I just kind of took it from Nigerian folklore and Egyptian folklore, stuff like that. Yeah, very just interesting, desert, you know. So we're, we live in the desert. It's a desert city. Yeah. Very true. Now, I remember the first time I ever saw you guys, you had a different arrangement, but it was about a year ago. I saw you at this house show. I was very impressed and even more impressed now with how you guys sound and how you were able to put it together. It's a great show every time. Now, how would you compare now to a year ago and some of the changes that went into getting to where you are right now? Let's see. Well, we did have to go through some lineup changes, which were necessary. I mean, people were just busy. Um, but besides that, we were rehearsing like a shit ton to get our, get our songs where they are, get our sound. And I think what's changed is kind of like, we've, we've also been recording, so that's kind of like up the stakes, making it a real thing. It's not just, I don't plan to just like play local, you know? Not that that's bad, but um, I really, I really want to play like out of state and uh, just the recording aspect is important to me. So, yeah. You guys look forward to playing out of state one day? Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this guy's already talking about maybe possibly <laughs> playing in Mexico. So yeah, that'll yeah, be I'm sick. Serious. I mean, yeah, serious. I'd be down for that. That's yeah. cool. I'm sure everyone else would be down too. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and I've also I've noticed you playing a mariachi. Does that also in influence the fact uh, of wanting to go play in maybe, Mexico? Maybe one song um, or like influencing want to go to Mexico. I mean, that's just where I'm from. I'm from Tecate. It's in Baja, California, and that's just like where I grew up. I moved here since I was seven. So yeah, the mariachi thing is, that's, that's cool too. Uh, separate thing, yeah. My brother, I'm from Ciudad Obregón, my brother. Yeah, ya tu sabes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Um, no longer with the mariachi group though. That was fun. Check them out, Terra, the Terra Mariachi, Terra Nevada Mariachi, that's cool. <laughs> Shout out. You're with the Gypsy Kings now. Yeah, okay. Now I'm, now I'm playing flamenco music. That's on the side of Zerzer. I'm playing some flamenco music with some... Like literal gypsies. Yeah, literal gypsies. Hey, like they're, not cool, <laughs> they're cool, dude. They're cool. Yeah. Now, where would you guys like to see this band go? What are some of the goals you have for Zerzura and the Empire? Um, I mean, ultimately, it is Andre's project. Um, but, I mean, it's like everybody's goal, you know. you got to play the social media game. If you see numbers go up on anything, it's like, as superficial as it sounds, it's like it's like quick serotonin boost, you know. Dopamine levels go up. You feel like you're making it. You know, what everybody wants. You know, you want to record. You want to have good shit that people like as well and is catchy. And that's what's so fun about his writing, about Andre's writing, you know. Catchy shit, but then at the same time, you know, it's got a lot of depth to it. You know, you're... you're counting weird stuff up there there's like all these different changes psych rock involved but i mean like the first single that's dropping who knows when we're getting the first um mixes out i was blowing up his phone the other night with like all my notes about it um it's you know you want to you want to drop um the stuff you've been writing and you've been working on you want to play big shows the, that's the goal Playing some festivals. I love a good festival. I played one of those before, and I I got a taste of it, and I need it again. <laughs> yeah, I think for sure. Festivals, playing any kind of festival, uh, I'm partial to, like, Desert Days. That'd be, like, our crowd right there. Uh, 
Imagine Cerzura at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. <laughs> That'd be huge. That'd be crazy. I, yeah. Cerzura at MSG. Yeah. Madison Square, Square Garden? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's make it happen. You're here first. Cerzura at Madison Square Garden in New York City. We're going to make it happen. Driving towards the moon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you tell us a little bit about this single that's uh, going to be released so, and literally yeah. any day now, anytime um, soon? We recorded, it's like a live cover of, not cover, it's a live version of Magic 8 Ball. Before the studio version comes out, we're going to push this out just to really test, uh, just like get our Spotify up and running. And uh, yeah, it's uh, that's going to that's gonna be Magic 8 Ball. It's going to release before Jelly and then Jelly maybe sometime October or September, we'll see. I mean very close to hearing those mix right now magic eight ball is being mastered so that's just basically when they when you're done with mixing you just got to make sure finest fine-tuned details and then it's ready to be on on spotify so yeah that's gonna be cool and coming soon to spotify yeah now for the people who want to follow your journey see what you guys are all about where can they find you where can they follow you i think the best place will always be instagram that's a Con that's the platform I'm most familiar with. Zerzura and Empire. It's not Zerzura Band, not Zerzura LV official. It's Zerzura and Empire. All right. And uh, TikTok as well. We're on TikTok. We're not on Facebook. We're not on Twitter. So. <laughs> and wh why not? <laughs> what this guy? Is. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'll make the account later tonight. We're making a Facebook and a Twitter. <laughs> I got one last question, and I've been dying to know this because it's a lot of back and forth on this, a lot of uh, we're diving into the unknown, but I think we can settle this right now. Zerzura. <laughs> Cinnamon bun or jelly donut? Um, <laughs> good question. I think cinnamon bun, dude. Dude, the fucking cinnamon buns from Einstein Bros? Crazy! They're so insane. You gotta try that. Uh. <laughs> We're getting no's from off screen. <laughs> uh, well, Abby's a hater, so. <laughs> I love a good jelly donut. I I gotta I gotta <laughs> I gotta go with my jelly donut. Jelly donuts have a hole. I like donuts with a hole, you know. That's what, that's a donut. Oh, okay. But like oh, okay, okay. a donut with stuff like then the, that defeats the purpose, you know. What about you, Benji? Definitely taking a jelly donut all day. I've always loved jelly donuts. All the cinnamon buns too. Well, I get a little bit jelly when I don't have a jelly donut and when I can't listen to some Zerzura. I want to listen to their music soon. I can't wait for this music to drop. So, boys, thank you very much for your time. Zerzura, Zura, check him out. Thank you. Thank you.